Hey guys, welcome to Vets to PSC. The PSC stands for Private Security Contractor. My name is Ken. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying to a company called Caliburn International. All right, but before we begin, I need you to do me a favor, click on the subscribe button below. Also, I need you to click on the like button in order to raise the relevancy score so our brothers and sisters that are transitioning, law enforcement personnel or first responders looking to get into the private security industry overseas can go ahead and see this. All right, let's begin. All right, guys, this is probably going to be one of my shortest videos, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process. So let's start off by opening a browser of your choosing and typing in Caliburn International. All right, you're going to go to www.caliburnintl.com, Caliburn International. Click on that. Afterwards, we are going to hover over careers and click on openings. We're going to scroll down to this gentleman here and we're going to click on this tab. On this search bar, we're going to type in PSS. Now guys, right here, these notional opportunities, they're in the bidding process of that. I'm pretty sure if you go to Triple Canopy site or SOC or any of the other guys that are uh, companies that are into the PSS roles, um, they are probably bidding on the same thing. You are not tied down to one company. So you can, if you qualify for these, you can go ahead and, and, and put your name and put your resume on this and go to the other sites and put your resume and name on it. And when those companies win that, when whatever company wins that award, then you're already on their system. You're one of the first guys in that system um, and, and they'll look at you before anyone else. All right, so as you can see here while scrolling down, multiple positions are open in Iraq. If you qualify for any of these positions, please feel free to apply for them. Right now, we're only doing PSS because that's what that video is. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Guys, the most important thing, scroll down, job requirements. So right here, read these job requirements all the way down till here. Uh, but the most important one is the time and service. Do you have that? And do you have your experience one year? If you don't, there's other programs where they will supplement that lack of experience to add on. So for example, I had one gentleman who only did eight months overseas in, our, in Iraq or Afghanistan, my apologies. And what the company did was they put him as a static guard but it was in a sort of a mobile type operations, picking guys up in the airfield and then transporting them to their rooms or wherever it is that they needed to go. That technically counts as mobile operations. So that eight months, all you had to do was four months. Now that's 12 months. Guess what? Now he's able to go into the WPS PSS program working for the State Department. It's a lot more money, but now he qualifies for it. So the companies will do that. But please be weary. Uh, I don't think I've... I haven't heard of lately where if you qualify for the WPS PSS and the recruiters lie to you and put you in these lesser positions just to try to meet the requirements. You know, I've heard in the past that the recruiters will do that because they needed guards and they didn't have guards. So they would kind of screw guys over, put them in those lesser positions and then, you know, that kind of stuff. I haven't heard of that happening a lot lately, uh, but, you know, that's another one to be cognizant of, be aware of, be on the lookout for. All right, so anyways, done beating that horse. Apply to this job online. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and enter your email. Give them a good email. That way, whenever they contact you guys, you get it immediately. All right, so it's gonna be three-step process. It's self-explanatory. I'm not gonna walk you through this process because it's long, it's tedious. This is all on you. Uh, one thing I am gonna tell you is whenever you put in your resume, make sure that your resume is a professionally written resume. If you don't know how to do resumes, go online and find someone that has a veteran background or knows this contracting world very well and pay for that resume to be made. I made a video before where I directed you to uh, Kathy McClott who does a lot of resumes for personnel. Um, she primarily focuses on the project management um, area since a lot of us veterans if you've been an NCO or above you've done project management uh, so she focuses on that but her services she does you know if you want to pay for her 
and help have her write your resume. She does a phenomenal job. I, I tell you right now, it is very rare that I turn in my resumes and I get not accepted, you know. So um, that's another avenue. But guys, uh, Career Source, they have resume uh, personnel that help you write resumes for free um, or they give resume writing classes. So there's, there's multiple avenues that you can go about it. There's really no excuse. Um, do not do what a lot of guys have been doing to me lately where having me check their resumes and it's complete dog doo-doo, you know? Uh, real quick note, guys, if you've gotten any awards, AAMs, ARCOMs, any Valor, anything like that, take those write-ups that you've gotten for the awards and turn them into bullets and throw them on your resume, you know? Uh, any unit awards, take those write-ups and put them at, you know, use your own verbiage and put those as bullets on your resume. That'll give you, you know, a, a little bit more meat inside of those resume. And then uh, obviously look at the job descriptions and guys go online and what the job description is, the job role, look at what that job role is and then see if you can word any of your past experience according to that job role. But that's a resume writing class. That's for another video. Turn in a good resume. All right. Scroll down, put in all the information that you need, click submit profile. It's going to take you to step number two, do the same thing, complete everything. Step number three, do the same thing, complete everything. All right. So guys, uh, real quick, you know, I should have done this in the beginning of the video, but what happened here is DC Capital Partners ended up buying or acquiring uh, Janus Global. So now that's what you have is this caliber. So it's no different from Castellus with Triple Canopy. So that's why if you guys watch my previous Janus videos and you type in JanusGlobal.com, it'll redirect you to Caliburn. That's because this is what you're applying for. This is Janus, but they go under Caliburn. They, they fall under Caliburn. So right now they've got multiple positions just as you saw before, uh, Erbil Iraq, and that is like a hidden gem of Iraq. Uh, I remember in 2014, whenever I was PSS over there, uh, a lot of guys wanted to go to Erbil, Iraq. It was a it was an outstanding place. Uh, you know, right now I think they're paying five percent on taxes as opposed to ten percent in you know Baghdad or whatever it may be. Now things constantly change, but either ways, it's a good location. It's a, it's a good working environment up there. Uh, people really love it from what I've heard. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on over there. But uh, anyways, guys, before I close out here, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. All right, click on the likes tab. If you have any any wins that you've gotten, any of these videos that I've shot out and I, you know, and you follow the steps and you got a job, please feel free to let me know on the on on the comments below. I would love to hear you guys' wins. Um, you know, share that with the rest of the guys. Uh, any lessons learned that you've you've had throughout this whole process? Um, any anything that's happened during training? You know, I know right now. For guys that have been uh, to the training in Moyok, uh, I've gotten multiple complaints from them regarding the professionalism or lack of professionalism. Uh, guys, feel free to, 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 to let that all out, put that out there because that's what guys will see and uh, so they know what to expect when attending training or what to expect when attending uh, to go work overseas. So again, thank you guys for tuning in to Vets to PSC. My name is Ken. As always, it is a pleasure to be able to help you guys out, help the veteran community, law enforcement, and, force res and the first responders. So again, thank you for watching my videos and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.